Hello, I am Rahish. Today I am discussing about the various ways in which we can avoid an asteroid hitting the earth once it is discovered. We have seen films in which a dangerous asteroid is on a collision course with the earth and then the earth is saved at the very last moment. But what should we do in reality? The most famous method by far to deflect an asteroid is using nuclear weapons. Destroying asteroids by explosions using nuclear weapons could work in some particular cases. But fragmenting an asteroid by nuclear weapons might not save our planet. Because rather than dealing with one large asteroid, we have to deal with many smaller asteroids. Some might burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, some might miss the Earth, but some will still collide with our planet over a larger area. Worse than that, many of those fragments will be radioactive. We saw what happened when a failed Soviet satellite re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and scattered radioactive material all over northern Canada for which millions of dollars were needed for cleanup. We can imagine how much resources it would take to do this on a larger scale and how many people would be subjected to potentially deadly radioactive debris. Even if all the debris burn up in the atmosphere, they will still release dust and heat into the atmosphere, changing our planet's climate. But we can use nuclear weapons to push a asteroid rather than destroying it. We can detonate a nuclear device slightly above the asteroid surface which will vaporize material from the asteroid surface and that vaporized material and the radiation from the detonation would push on the asteroid working like a rocket motor changing its trajectory. These nuclear deflection methods could be used in some circumstances and it might also be the only way in the time we might have. But we should consider internationally sensitive nuclear devices our last choice. One more method is to send a spacecraft to the asteroid and hit that asteroid at a very high velocity. That would transfer the momentum of the spacecraft to the asteroid changing its trajectory. The velocity change will be very small, something like 1 meter per hour. But over time that will add up to an overall large change in the asteroid's position. This is called as the kinetic impactor. This is very similar to a fast moving bike hitting a car and as the bike hits it, the car also shifts by a small amount. This is by far the simplest method. But asteroids are not all the same type. Some are made with rocks, some with metals, some with a combination of the two, but most of the asteroids are not single bodies. There are many smaller rocks, pebbles and gravel, sand, which are very loosely held together by its own gravity. These are called rubble pile asteroids. For these, we need what's known as the gravity tractor. This travels to the asteroids and it hovers above the asteroid surface using, for example, ion thrusters. This spacecraft will have gravity just like everything in the universe with mass and so does the asteroid. Hence the gravity of the two would pull both of them closer and then we can move the spacecraft using its thrusters and the gravity between the asteroid and the spacecraft will pull the asteroid from its trajectory. A good example will be a truck pulling heavy equipments. The spacecraft will be in the place of the truck and the asteroid at the place of the equipment or the payload and the joint between the two will be their mutual gravity. There are other methods as well such as lasers, ion beams, focused solar energy and many others but they will require even more technological advancements. Every method has its advantages as well as disadvantages. The deciding factor will be the asteroid, its composition, its orbit and our time limitations. For different conditions we must use different methods. Asteroids can create beautiful landscapes like the Lunar Lake and change the course of evolution, but they can also end our civilization. So it is the time to use our technology to eliminate these dangers. Thanks for watching my video.